Uh, yes, there, there is certainly some added value that's come, th come through from the Chapelfield installation. Um, originally, TAS was uh, implemented within Chapelfield purely as a communication system between the centre management and the retailers. But going forward, applications have come through, such as the collection of retail turnover statistics, whereby um, a retail store manager will uh, once a week enter his turnover figures for, um, for that week and verify them. They're then fed back through TAS um, to the centre staff who collate a report which then shows how um, that retailer is performing within the centre, uh, within his sector, within the centre against his, his other retailers where no names are named but a league table is constructed. And it, it allows a two-way process then between the centre manager and the retailers that doesn't exist now to, to show where benefit has been derived within the centre, how the centre is performing how the retailer is performing as well, which is obviously is, is key for landlords as at the end of the day retailers pay the, the landlord's rent. I think with the implementation of TAS there are many benefits, particularly when you look at it from a commercialization point of view. TAS really opens up a whole new world of revenue streams for commercialization. First of all you have the the uh, first or basic systems such as your EFPOS or your telephones but then when you, when you start to get in more in depth you can look at the overall benefits of TAS such as when you look through uh, at the overall footfall coming into the centre and then when you can measure that against the EPOS sales um, and then when you correlate that uh, with advertising campaigns and marketing campaigns you're actually able to see the return on investment that you're getting from, from doing marketing campaigns within the centre.